left. Like them old cowboy movies. Only instead of tumbleweed and cow dung, we got stripped car wrecks and dog shit. These young guys, I don't recognize them. Mi barrio, ya no existe. Carlito, man, that valley out here, man. You know, you know me. I take to the street with any of these motherfuckers, man. But these new kids nowadays, man, they got no respect for human life. They shotgun you, man, just to see you fly up in the air, man. Chacha, you better off in jail. You know, I don't even go up to Black Harlem no more, man. That's fucking crazy up there. You remember Victor? Victor, with the beard. Victor yeah. got shotgun to death right in front of the hive, man. Right in front of fucking Patrick Henry Hyde. Y La Ling, you know La Ling. Ya leave me that, so what happened to him? La Ling doing 30 years in Attica, man. 30 years. Check it out, Mira, who's here? Mira, that's all. Oye. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. Oye, Carlito, I've been looking all over for you. Sure, how figure I find you walking around up here, doing a little memory lane. Hmm, well, I still got one. Yeah, Mira, but I'm the one to talk to you. Mira, Carlito, I gotta get back to the game, but papi, you need anything. Body guy thing, you call me, okay? You call me. Pachan, good to see you. Take care. Great scene. You know what's great about the scene? It's flawless. There's like, when you see that scene, it, it seems like you're just seeing a slice of humanity in New York. That moment, everything. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's like, that's what I love about you. There's, you're effortless. You just breathe the role. You just, you make, you make it look so easy. And that's one thing that, that a lot of people don't realize. To make it look easy, you got to work really hard. Oh yeah, absolutely, brother. Um, yeah, I got. I got to tell you, man. Um, it took me eighteen years, eighteen years of being an actor, to one day finally, finally tell myself, "Damn, Lou, you're pretty good, man." You know, because it's not that I doubted myself, but it. I, I was just felt that I was always a work in progress, you know, mm -hmm. and. I think that that's one of the things that has helped me, you know, to progress in my career because um, it's unfortunate, but I, I see people come and go in our business. Yeah. And they come and go because unfortunately they're full of themselves, mm -hmm. you know, and you can't be full of yourself. You know, you got to be humble. Yeah. You got to be grounded, you know, so well, I, mean, I do appreciate mm -hmm. what I do. And, and again, the people that I work with and stuff like that. But it's just one of those things that, um, you know, I, I developed and it's just something that came natural to me. 